Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. I've just started clearing the snow. The snow has actually just turned to rain, it's been snowing all morning and as you can see we do have a bit of a, a covering here, not too much. But you might be interested in knowing what this lot have been doing. Well they've left their machinery here for now. I think they have finished, um, but this seems to be it. This is what they've done. They have put a new surface on this very small stretch. Now you might think, well, why would you just do that very small stretch? Well, actually, there was just here on this side of the road, there was a bit of a, a bit of patchwork that had been going on at some point, and they have just got rid of the patchwork and resurfaced the whole thing. So it does look better, although it does stand out now like a bit of a sore thumb. So anyway, <laughs> I'm guessing they're going to be getting rid of those machines in the next day or so. So now we know exactly what they were doing. They could have resurfaced the whole thing, but they didn't. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, I'm just going to go back into the tractor because what I need to do is just finish clearing this bit of snow. There really isn't much to clear. This is the snow which I was talking about in the previous vlog. There was snow on the way and originally it was actually supposed to be quite a bit of snow. It might still be, but certainly for this morning it has now got mild enough for it to be rain. So it's just, it, it's bitterly cold, but yeah, it's just not really falling as snow anymore. An hour ago it was snow. So I don't think at this stage I need to do too much work with the, uh, the snow clearing. So what I'll do is just clear the piece over there going towards the road and then I think that, that'll do. That should be fine. We might be out later. I haven't checked the forecast actually. I will be going inside in a minute or two to have my breakfast. Uh, I just thought I'd get a bit of this done first. Oh, who's that? Dennis. Oh, what does Dennis want? Um... Yes, well, I'll read his message in a minute. See what he has to say for himself. I really haven't spoken to Dennis much at all, actually. Since the so-called accident. Uh, yeah, it, it's been it's been very quiet. Looks like the small ditch here has frozen up a bit as well. Some water. But we're having some very cold nights at the moment. Right, well, that would do. That's fine. It's, uh... It's getting much milder now. I'll just take the final piece of snow here. That's the thing about making a big pile. The pile remains once the rest of the snow is gone. It takes much longer for it to melt. I could make a gigantic mountain if only I didn't have other things to do. Right, so what I will do is just for now put this under cover. Just put it here. And yes, I'm going to go and have my breakfast and I will go and check the message from Dennis. Okay, right, well, it is snowing again, so this is uh, this is quite interesting. It's also very pretty, very Christmassy. It's a shame Christmas isn't for almost another month. Anyway, uh, it is mesmerisingly beautiful. I do like the snow. For anybody else who is a big fan of winter, you will be very pleased to hear that it's actually not going to stop snowing now for at least 24 hours. That is the forecast which I've just seen. Uh, they claim it is going to be snowing now non-stop for about 30 hours. So we're going to have to prepare ourselves. Hopefully the animals are okay. But anyway, you might be more interested in hearing what Dennis has had to say for himself. He said, head over to his pub, he has something to show us. Now, usually I think, oh Dennis, what is this? But he said there is a tractor involved, so that is quite interesting. I admit I will definitely go and have a look, as there is a tractor involved. He didn't obviously keep the tractor which he flipped. Um, that was that was just ridiculous. It would have been ridiculous to keep it. And yeah, they had uh, forensics on it anyway. So anyway, I'll head over to Dennis's place through this snow, which isn't too deep at the moment. At least I can't really be snowed in. I have the best tool possible. A tractor with a front loader and bucket. I suppose the only way it could be a bit better is if it had a salt spreader on the back. But I don't think that's going to be needed just yet. Maybe in the future. Now I have actually completely scrapped the idea of putting some fertiliser on the fields. I could have put it on if it had been milder, but it's just not worth it. It's just not going to be possible now. So it can wait until the spring, although it would have benefited a bit if I could have got some on at the moment. Because the crop actually did germinate very well. Right then. So it is quite a long way to go to Dennis's place. So... Sit back and enjoy the ride.
Here we are. This road has not been treated at all. But it's not too deep. It's just like the yard, really. Anyway, Dennis's pub. He's not going to get many customers here. I'm surprised he gets any, actually. Although I don't think he's even been serving since he had the accident, because he's been recovering. He couldn't really work all this time. I see that his Ford has moved. Maybe he's just taken it for a very short spin around his driveway from here to there. We'll find out. How is Dennis doing? Ah, oh, Nagman. Good to see you. It's been a very long time. It's been very long, Dennis. Anyway, you say you have a tractor to show me. Not just a tractor. An entire farm. What, are you starting it here? Is that why you've moved your pickup out of the way? Is the tractor going to park just here? No, I know you do like to make fun of me, Dagwin. I promise you, I've bought a farm. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just wondering why you've bought a farm, because I thought you were supposed to be recovering and you couldn't work. No, I've been given the all clear. You see, when I had my accident, it made me think a bit with about what I want to do for the rest of my life. Run a pub? Well, that's the thing, you see. I really don't. I'd love to be farming. And now you can, because you've bought a farm? Absolutely. Anyway, follow me and I can show you it. Right, well, as you've just heard, we are going to go and see Dennis's farm. And it does have a tractor. Let's just hope it isn't anything like that old tractor he had before. Although it did seem to be quite reliable. It's just it was very old. Right, well, I'll just back out of the way so that Dennis can uh, go first. Unless, of course, it's this way? I don't know. Right, well, he's gone. A bit too fast. Hopefully I can keep up. Um, he hasn't told me how far this is, so hopefully it's not too far as well. I actually don't know of any farms that have been for sale around here, so this is going to be a bit of a mystery. It is a mystery. Oh, come on, Dennis, you know I'm in a tractor. Is this intentional? Maybe he'll notice in a minute and just slow down a bit. Yes, I think he's noticed. Uh, although, this is a pretty fast tractor. So it's pretty good. Yeah, good. So, yeah, as long as we don't lose him. Otherwise, we're never going to see the farm. He's literally heading back to where the Milky Way is, our farm. If he turns left, he's just going to our farm. He's not bought our farm, is he? Uh, what is he doing? Oh, Dennis, that is the maniac driving. Goodness me. Is he safe to be on the road? Now I'm stuck behind a car. Come on, Dennis, slow down a bit. I think he's noticed. Uh, I'm never going to see which way he goes otherwise. Come on, car. Goodness me. It's a 30, not a 17. Well, he's not going really... Where's he gone? Did he go right? <laughs> Which way's Dennis gone? I don't think he's gone up there. Did he go up here? Oh good, there he is. There he is. Right. He's turned right. That'll do. That's where he is. He's waiting there. Okay, so whose is this place then? Dennis's, apparently. Has he taken me to some random person's farm? Come on, Dagwin. We'll walk from here. Okay, well. Off we go, then. Let's go and take a look at this farm. He's not making me just enter somebody else's property, is he? Since when was this for sale? Having said that, it does seem like a very nice place. There is a tractor here. I told you, didn't I? There's my new tractor. Dennis, that is a very nice tractor. But, if you don't mind me asking, how could you afford all this? Hey, never you mind. What about the tractor then? It, it looks new. But obviously, it's really old. Aye, aye. Freshly refurbished. That is a very nice tractor. How has he managed to get such a... Decent track. Look at that. It's like new. It's been so well done. Hmm. 
I'm actually very impressed. So he owns all of this. Hey, just wait until I get my sheep. Ah, that's what you're doing. So, this is the future then? Aye, that it is. I would offer you a position here. Anyway, I must be going. Things to do. Well, here we are back in the tractor. I honestly can't believe it that he's bought all that. I must have set him back a bit. I think he does only have the field behind the farm, but even so, it's still going to be quite expensive. Anyway, I must get on now. It's been delightful seeing that. I really was not expecting it to be that good. When he said, do you want to see something involving a tractor, I thought it would be another wreck of a tractor of his that he's bought. Something that would, you know, roll over and injure himself again. But no. Impressive stuff. Anyway, it is cold, so what I must do is go and check up on my sheep and my chickens, because I need to make sure they're all healthy. Um, need to make sure they've got extra feed if they require it. Obviously, we can't be on the land today, which is unfortunate. But if it gets worse, we, we might be working for the council later, clearing some roads. It just depends what happens with the snow. If it does become very bad, then we probably will be sticking a snowplow on the front or the back of this, and we'll be uh, taking a, a few steps further. But that's up to Peter. Peter has a contract with the council, so if they do contact him, then that's what we'll be doing. Uh, but for now, we are just going to do the usual farm jobs, which, which must be done. So, yeah, let's go and head over to my sort of small-ish farm, um, which I am trying to grow, but obviously it has limits. There's, there's only so far we can go with that. Whoa, that's slippery. Whoa! <laughs> I lost it there. Um, yeah, I think... The, the tractor which he usually uses is the Massey Ferguson for snow playing, so anyway, I'll just close this gate. I think, actually, did we leave the bale spike here? We might have done. Right, I've got the bale spike, swapped it over. We'll probably be putting the bucket back on again later though. Uh, and yeah, I just don't know exactly what's going to be happening with this weather. It's very unpredictable. The forecast is just for constant snow. It is snowing, but it's not that heavy. But it can build up over time. I think what's going to happen is if we are working for the council later, it's going to be a separate vlog. I'll do it as a different vlog, because it is going to be quite a challenge to clear the roads, especially if it does get very bad. I'm sort of expecting it to get very bad, because what I've, from what I've heard on the forecast, it's going to be very bad. I just really hope my sheep are okay. At the moment, there's not really anything that can go wrong. Oh wow, an open space for me to do a handbrake turn. Nice. Right, so the sheep do seem to be quite happy. They've still got loads of feed. So there's nothing really of an issue here. Is this frozen up? Ah, it's a little bit low. Hopefully it's not frozen. There we go. Right, so they should be fine. As for my hens, which are just over here, um, let's just check how much feed they've got. That's pretty good. I've got some more eggs in the box. That one's just sealing it up and putting the uh, postage label on it, ready for shipping. I can see they've got everything sorted here. No, don't open it. I think I'll pick this trailer up and take it back. Looks like we're not going to be getting through too much hay at this farm this field so it's just going to be getting covered in snow unnecessarily it can go in a nice warm barn I think I'll go back via Peter's because he might have something for me to do as well you know I'm quite tempted to uh, work for Dennis but it would be a bit ungrateful towards Peter since he's put us in such a good position and it would be a downgrade of pay just, yeah, it, it does seem like a very nice farm. But so does Peter's. They're both good. Unless I could do maybe a tiny bit of part-time work with Dennis, I'm not too sure. Hmm. I'd be interested in hearing what Peter has to say about the snow. See if he thinks it's going to be bad. Right. Now he's got the tractor moved anyway. No snow plow, although the snow plow is out. I'll just go over here. That did feel quite slippery. 
Yeah, <laughs> that is very slippery on the foot. Ah, Darwin, just the man I was looking for. I was about to give you a call. Now this forecast, which has been circulating, it sounds pretty bad. It sounds like they're trying to predict over a foot of snow. I don't believe it myself. We've never had that much here before. However, let's get that snowplow attached to the Massey Ferguson. Right, I will do. Uh, it's okay at the moment, though. Yeah, not too bad, but in the forecast, they said around 4 o'clock, it's going to really set in. Okay, right, well, in that case, we'll have to get this all set up. Let's jump into it. I think it's been running today. It seems quite warm in here. And, yeah, like I said, this is, this is an absolute ice rink. I should probably not have put the trailer right there, but anyway. This is so slippery. Quite hard to see, but you can feel when you're steering how uh, it's not responding. Right, let's just give that a push. There we go. Get that attached. And I think we are ready to go. Okay. Well, I suppose as I'm here, it would be quite a good idea just to very quickly clear this yard. As it is so slippery, someone's going to have a bit of an accident here. If somebody's walking across there, they could very easily fall over. Get this cleared out of the way. Okay. Right. So I jump back into here and we'll get it cleared. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Oh. My back. Okay. We'll try that again. Let's get it cleared. Just done the one thing I was meaning not to do. Where shall I push it to? I'm wondering. Um. Oh, what's that car still doing here? He's still not taking it away. Yeah, I don't know where to push it to. He doesn't really have anywhere which is suitable. This is uh, typical. Well, I'm sure I'll find somewhere to push it to. This first load can go over here. I think this is going to be best if I just get the drone out. And we can then see it from a bit more of an aerial view. Yeah, it's very effective. That's a big improvement, a very big improvement. So I'm just going to uh, I'm going to have some food, I'm going to have some lunch. I can eat at uh, Peter's house, so I'm still very welcome, which is kind of him. Uh, and then we're going to have to see what it's like later. So I'll come back out again around four or five o'clock. But really, it has been a few inches of snow, but it's nothing, nothing severe. So we'll, we'll see what it's like later. See you again in a second. Right, well we have been looking at the weather and we were trying to put it off but it's just kept going and now, well as you can see, it's it's pretty deep. It's uh, it, It's got to be close to a foot. But to give you an idea, I've just switched the lights on the tractor, you can see that this hasn't moved since I parked it here. And uh, yeah, I, th I think we're measuring a good foot there. And it's still going. So we're definitely, definitely going to be out late tonight doing the ploughing. So I think really, well look at this, look at that. That's what we pushed the grain up with. Yeah, this is pretty bad actually. I should run down to the, uh, the road and see how it is. Yeah, as I was sort of expecting, that is deep. I don't know how many, how many rails this is. How, how many is that? It must be a five bar gate I'm guessing. We've definitely submerged the, uh, the lower one. Right, well, I should probably make sure Dennis is okay. I mean, not that I have to or anything, it's just he's like right here, the neighbour. Make sure he got back okay. It's pretty deep and he isn't here. The only reason why I'm sort of looking out for him more than usual is because I know that he isn't 100% better. He claims that he is, but he just can't be. He had such a terrible injury. Right, well, that is concerning. We'll have to keep an eye out for him when we're, when we're actually ploughing these roads. It's going to be a big night. Also, I really hope that Peter has a salt spreader close. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and get one. 
and it'll most likely be over at his other farm. How bad is it that... Oh. It's bad. Yes. It's terrible. Um, I think the room where we were looking at the snow from might have been on the sheltered side. Let me guess out. I, the snow's blowing in the house. What are you thinking? Salt and lots of it. <laughs>